Hello and welcome back to Newswire TV. My name is Sarah Burke and the story I'll be covering today is Tanish Shalia of Radcar raises concerns around the level of trolling Irish politicians are receiving online. He said that he worries that it may result in real violence. He explained not only just having a milkshake thrown at you, but something much more serious than that. A number of Irish politicians have said that they consider whether the huge amount of, contr- of trolling that they receive online will amount to real violence. The Tanishta was reacting to graffiti containing threatening language directed off Rodkar that was seen earlier this month on a shop wall in the Belvoir estate in South Belfast. The threatening language that was directed off Rodkar included that he would hang if he was to set foot in, Ul- f- set foot in Ulster. And the Tanishta stated that he was not surprised by the graffiti. The Fianna Gael later said that, in some ways, he is desensitised to this information. Last year, Mr. Vradkar was in Marion Square when a woman came up to him with a milkshake and threw it over him before running away. Mr. Vradkar said the messages in the graffiti are not all that different to the, mes- the messages that he's receiving online. Other politicians like Dublin Lord Mayor Hazel Chew and Fianna, G- Fianna Falls and Rabbit have also been open about the levels of abuse that they receive online as public representatives. Fianna Gael leader explained about one aspect of Irish politics he deeply regrets. It is the extent to which that kind of personalised targeting of anyone, but particularly politicians, become much more common. Thank you for listening and I will pass you now to Roisin Cullen for the latest news. So, thanks for that, Sarah. Um, A really interesting story now coming across today that a 69-year-old lawyer in Texas has gone viral. You've probably seen him everywhere. Ron Ponton struggled to remove a cat filter at probably one of the most awkward times. He is reported to have said, I'm here live. I'm not a cat. The lawyer had no idea how the cat filter had appeared and wasn't able to remove it. The judge then later explained that Zoom has its mishaps and everyone just has to roll with the punches and that everyone involved um, handled the situation with a high degree of professionalism. This story just goes to show how the awkward scenarios that Zoom presents us with and how much our world has changed in the last 12 months and how much the world has had to adapt to the world of Zoom, whether that is you're on mute or trying to avoid your mom doing the hoovering. Um, I really do feel like the whole world has really adapted to suit and to keep business going as usual in the midst of a world pandemic. So um, I'm going to head over to uh, Valerie now because she's going to discuss a very important letter that the Taoiseach might need to read. Thanks for that, Roisin. And now I'm going to talk about the Taoiseach receiving hundreds of letters from student nurses in relation to lack of pay and compensation for their work during the pandemic. Over 100 student nurses wrote to Michal Martin immediately after a rejected doll motion last December that would have seen them paid for their placements during the pandemic. At the start of the pandemic, many student nurses acted as healthcare assistants in the sector and were paid for the work they did. This arrangement, however, is no longer in place. Many students and full-time nurses also contacted Health Minister Stephen Donnelly directly last week highlighting the type of work they do as part of their educational placements, with many describing the long hours they spend juggling part-time jobs and travelling to these placements for no pay. These emails and letters to the Taoiseach and the Health Minister were released under the Freedom of Information Act. Nurses have sought a reply or acknowledgement from either the Taoiseach or Health Minister, but there was no response when queried by the journal.ie. Some of the graphic stories sent by the student nurses included On one occasion, there were only two nurses for 25 patients, two students and no healthcare assistant. The workload put upon us student nurses is increasing by the day. The respect or lack thereof shown to student nurses across the island of Ireland is appalling. We are the future of healthcare. Another wrote, due to the lack of financial support from our government, I was forced to work a minimum of 45 hours per week in my part-time job while in placement so that I could afford to go back and complete my next semester of college. This meant I was working more than 75 hours a week for eight consecutive weeks. Another also horrifically wrote, I work in an antenatal ward and I had to support a woman through a miscarriage. She was alone due to current COVID-19 restrictions and as you can imagine, this news is quite upsetting. I had to carefully take her 11-week-old fetus and place it into a little coffin. 
Frontline nurses and doctors will meet with the Oireachtas on Tuesday to discuss insufficient staff numbers to cope with the backlog of non-COVID care, calling for improved protection in hospitals, staffing and pay. That's all for today from Newswire TV. Thanks for watching and until next time.